Comedian and musician Fred Armisen is coming to the Fillmore on Sunday, April 28th. Don't miss out on a night of laughs when he brings his comedy for musicians, but everyone is welcome to her to town. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. He's not even here yet. I didn't know Armisen was coming to the Fillmore. Yes, sir. That's fantastic. And guess what else, Cor? Tickets are on sale now, and you can secure yours what? today at KFN.com. Keyword, calendar. Dude's a genius. I what'd love Fred What do you think of SNL? I mean, I love Chris and Wig. Uh, I did like the Jumanji bit. That made me laugh. Yeah. That, that, how she was afraid of getting, quote, jumanji That was good. I love the Pilates bit. Yeah, that was well done. That was pretty clever. She, She's just, she's, man, even when the sketches are bad, she's so good. Yeah. She's always solid. I'd never heard of the musical guest again. It's been an entire year on SNL of me having no idea who's doing the music. Was it Ray? Yeah, yeah I no idea no who idea. she is. Yep. Oh, oh, good singer, but I just I'd never I never heard of her. Through those, yeah. Yep, that's the old fast forward button for yeah. sure. Yep. Was it Cy Amundsen? It was not Cy Amundsen. Can Cy sing? Are you you believe it? I think Cy can sing. Yeah, I really? Hi, Cy. So, yeah. I think we should push that narrative along, but I am I am not worth uh, seeing in a cardboard box. I am a terrible singer. Oh. Yeah, I actually figured that, side. <laughs> I'm horrific. Here's the, you know, I was going to ridicule Ben about his whole, like, why would I watch someone paint the Sistine Chapel when I could do it at home? Like, that stupid thing he said earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, but I think we should talk about the eclipse. So I need a show vote. I am within 10 minutes of the path of totality where I live. Uh, So I'm loading up the family. We're going. And whenever I go to an event, you know, my wife is prepared for me to ruin it for her. And that is going to happen. So I think there's three options. I could, A, go watch Zach watch the eclipse. That'll be interesting for sure. (laughs) I could B, get one of those cardboard square cutouts that I wear over my shoulders and street preach and talk about how it's the end of the world. That, mm-hmm. I, um, I like that one. Or C, I look up at the eclipse, that moment of the eclipse, and just scream for 15 straight minutes about how my eyes are melting. Either way, I think I ruin a lot of people's day. Show vote. What, what am I going with? It seems like you could do all three. Yeah, I, I think mean, you can do all I, of them. Yeah, you knock them all out at once. I like Street Preacher. Go for that one. I like standing next to Zach, Zach, Zach and then, yeah, uh, yeah, right. yeah, stand next to Zach, Ruin hold his, his hand. Yeah. In yeah. fact, I tickle him, and, and so he closes his eyes and misses the entire thing. Or what about a little bit of both? Think, street Preach with Zach. Yeah, and yeah. I think having somebody recognize me when I'm Street Preaching, I can play that off as, like, he's interested, and that really gasses me up. Yeah, that's not a bad plan at all. Like what? Much. What part of the city blocks outside the airport are we supposed to find Zach roaming? Oh, that's a good he question. He won't go far. You know, I mean, yeah. uh, I would I would expect maybe 10, 15 steps out the front door with a guy with a hand shading his eyes. That'll be about it. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm probably just going to do the screaming one because that's the one that my wife hated the most. And I, like I think it. that'll be the funniest for her. Yeah, good. Um, I love that you gave her and I, uh, yeah, I appreciate all you guys. Here's one question before I leave. Have either Mutt or uh, Hawk, have either of you guys ever seen Chris Stapleton with the steel drivers? I have not. No, with the steel drivers. No, no. I have not. That was his original. So he right? played with the steel drivers for four years, put out two albums. And Ben, to your point, I think he's weird as a solo artist. I think when you're a singer-songwriter of that capacity, U.S. Bank is not meant for you. But see that, if you'd have seen that dude play with the, the Steel Drivers, you'd have watched that band, you know, in a field with a million people mm-hmm. and loved it. Mm-hmm. Okay, love you guys. Bye. 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 Um, one last thing, one last thing about uh, Stapleton. The, the, one compar- the one comparison that I would say is comparable but not comparable, or, or she does it right, Adele, amazing singer, right? right. She just stands there. Yeah. Adele captivates the 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 crowd with her banter and her wit and her conversation and the things that she says in between the songs. Like she makes it fun because of her personality. Stapleton just goes song after song after song after song after hit. I gotta get through these songs so after I can get off hit. this stage.
After it's him. there's there's no there's no interaction there's no connection but don't like you, he lacks connection but there are other artists where you're like okay shut up already sing the damn well, songs why, why you gotta talk about me like that yeah <laughs> I think those like are fewer and day. far between the the bands that you get annoyed with for talking too much I don't think I've ever been to a concert where they talk too much in between songs I have. I don't want to say the artist. Go ahead, say it. No, no, no. Why? No, no, no. I don't want to say the artist. Fred Astaire. I, well, I guess still work He's later dead. today. So, no. Sammy there are Davis some artists Jr. where you're just like, yeah, you okay, you get 90 minutes on stage surface. and you're filling a lot of this with... It's Dirks, isn't it? Tupac yeah. and Doc. You don't want to say it. It's That's Dirks why you Bentley. want him to be a pilot. Dirks yeah. and yeah. And that his, Dirks Bentley. Oh, he just to be a pilot. Yeah. That son of a bitch. Listen to this, guys. I know we got to do some sports real quick. Uh, a North Oaks teen is making history in the chess world. That's North Oaks, Minnesota. Uh, 14-year-old Alice Lee took home first place in the 2024 American Cup. She's the youngest female American to do so. 14-year-old from North Oaks, Minnesota. Hmm. Might have been her first uh, big national title, but it's not her first time making history. Lee is a three-time world youth champ and recently was named an international master. She's just one of three female players in chess history to achieve that ranking, and she's from North Oaks, Minnesota. That's pretty cool. How cool is that? Wow. God, I wish my brain would figure out the chess. North Oaks mm -hmm. Gambit. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I got what you did there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the Queen's Gambit. Uh, Isn't it Queen's weird, Gambit? though? It's it's a fascinating... Oh, well, I don't know how you guys feel about it. When you watch two really, really good chess players, especially like speed chess, because the things have to go that's fast. That's fun. It's actually entertaining yeah. to watch. Yeah. Like, yeah. I never thought I'd actually be captivated by two people playing chess. What would you say it's better than? It's better than Chris Stapleton. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would rather watch a full round of two speed chess world class players than a live concert of Chris Stapleton. Yeah. You are a beard hater. Wow. <laughs> Is he wife. like that? He hates our wives. <laughs> wow. No, I didn't know. Are you are you saying something personal no, that you no. shouldn't be saying on radio about him? No, I would never. I don't have a beard. Oh. What is happening? I don't know. Are we doing sports? We can. That's your turn. It's time for Fan 5 on Get the Power me. Trip, presented by All yeah. Around I'm Property all Preservation. Up. Thank you, All Around. Uh, yeah. John Calipari is leaving Kentucky for Arkansas. He will sign a five-year deal with Arkansas to be the head coach of their basketball team. He has been oh. at Kentucky since 2009. He won a national title in 2012. He's been to four Final Fours. He's won 30-plus games five times. He won uh, 38. Uh, he has, he, excuse me. He's won. Uh, here's coach. 38 wins twice. He's 30, he was 38 no to start the 2014 2015 season. 12 total SEC titles. Uh, they will most likely get uh, their pick of the litter when it comes to their next head coach at Kentucky. Yeah, that had to happen, right? Well, what do you have, like a $33 million buyout? Well, everybody, all the Kentucky fans have bailed on him. Yeah, they I all mean, they, I they, they hate him. Yeah. But as Corey said, he's. His unbelievable record, and they're tired of him. I mean, he's one of the best well, yeah, college yeah, because, basketball coaches of all time. Yes, but but fan bases don't like to be embarrassed, and he's embarrassed their fan base yeah. four years in a row. And yeah. the uh, the Wildcats are one of those things where anything less than the title is a failure. So you can win 410 games and lose 123, right. yeah, which is but spectacular. It's, but it's not like he's losing but in the final win. four. He's losing in the round of I mean, they lost 64, to Oakland, the right? round of 32. Recently, right? They lost yeah. to St. Peter or whatever that was a couple of years I mean, ago. K-State mm -hmm. beat him a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he stopped getting recruits. That's the other bit. Uh, you start losing them a little not bit. Not really. Kentucky. He's still. He's still. I mean, you're still going to get. Doesn't he still produce a lot of NBA talent? Yeah. I mean, always take a player from Kentucky. They're always good. Yeah, so, they just don't. They just don't play as a team and win. Right. Correct. Yeah. That's that's what's always happened to him. So he can recruit, he but maybe not coach. Five five star kids, but they don't play as a team. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Uh, the Wolves beat the Lakers one twenty seven one seventeen to clinch a top three seed in the playoffs. Nas Reed at 31 for the Wolves, who are 54 and 24. The Wolves are currently tied with Denver for the top spot in the West. They have four games left. The only one that really matters is their game against Denver on Wednesday, but they play the Wizards tomorrow at 7, Maxo. Yeah, that game against Denver is going to be huge, especially after Corey just read the Nuggets schedule. I mean, that's easy pickings for them. They're probably going to go 4 0, 3 0, however many games they have left. The Wolves is kind of a mixed bag. Wizards, I mean, I think they're even worse than the Pistons. They're the worst team in the, in the entire NBA. They're an absolute joke. So that should be an easy win for the Wolves tomorrow. 
But, I mean, the Suns and the Nuggets are both fighting for playoff positioning, so those will be tough games coming up here. So, And, I mean, last night took care of business. No LeBron James, no Anthony Davis, so it, it was easy work for the Wolves. They had a 46-point second quarter. Nas Reed has just been, I mean, he's been incredible all season, but stepping up into that starting role with Cat down, he has just been producing like no other. And, honestly, it's, it's really cool just to see not only his growth on the court, but just the connection he has with fans. There was somebody at WrestleMania over the weekend that had a Nas Reed towel in the crowd. That's sweet. I mean, how cool is that, man? I get every team has their own little fan favorite player, but the connection between the, the Timberwolves fans and Nas Reed is something that needs to be studied, honestly. It's it's next level, and it's 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 gone even beyond Minnesota. For him to be it, for it to be in Philadelphia, and I think Nas Reed is from Philadelphia, so maybe that had something to do with it, but for... WrestleMania to be in Philadelphia and a Nas Reed towel shows up at a wrestling show. It's just, I mean, it's it's great. So him. Malik Monk's out for the rest of the season because of his injury, but he's still the favorite on DraftKings to win uh, NBA sixth man of the year at Dumb. minus 125. But Nas Reed with a blank slate now, these last handful of games to try to catch him, obviously 31 points, 11 boards last night against the Lakers helps. So his odds are improving. He's now minus 105. Mm. Oh, hell so yeah. still second, but sub even money. Minus 105. Now's Reed should definitely. Yeah, he should win. Sure. Yeah, he Malik should win. Monk is great. Uh, he's or he's fantastic. Go to did he, uh, did he Kentucky. go to Kentucky? Correct. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I, I didn't know what he did. Oh, good for him. But Nas Reed, I mean, he has, I don't, I don't, I'm not an elite Sacramento Kings mind, but Nas Reed's impact on this Timberwolves, the Timberwolves wouldn't be in the position to be the number one seed without Nas Reed. He is vital to this team's Correct. success. Well said. Thank you. Uh, the Wild beat the Black Hawks 4 0. Kaprizov scored twice. Marco Rossi scored his 21st goal, and Goudreau uh, scored as well. The Wild battled the Avs on Tuesday at 8 30, and then they play the Vegas Knights at 9 o'clock. On Friday, okay, it's all but over, right? Yeah, yeah it's over. Yeah, it's, yeah. Over. Yeah. it's yeah. over. Yeah, they're not mathematically eliminated, but it's, it's over. over. It's over. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. over. They need a miracle. Johnny. Yeah, uh, South Carolina won the women's national championship over Iowa, eighty-seven Ooh! to seventy-five. <laughs> South Carolina finished their season undefeated. South Carolina since the twenty twenty-one twenty twenty-two season has gone one hundred and nine and three. Caitlin Clark, man. What she's done for women's basketball, college basketball, mm-hmm. my goodness. I mean, the Paige Beckers matchup there was outstanding as well, but I, I wouldn't, I don't watch basketball. And I was well, like, that's sad. I got to watch this because I guess I got to see her play live. Yeah. And it, I she's mean, amazing. It, she, like, she and Juju Watkins out of USC yeah. and, you know, what South Carolina's doing as a, as a team. And undefeated, right? The I mean, it's season. like it's become a you know at least down the stretch in the in the tournament it was appointment TV. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know at least was for me. Like, oh, when, what time are they playing? Right. I got to make sure I'm watching. And I normally would not be that that guy. 100. percent But yeah, it, yeah, fantastic. Thank you. And every game lived up to the hype. Yes. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. What you get? 18 in the first first quarter. Yeah. 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 A little, Which yeah. Is a record. A little quiet after that, but yeah. Uh, yesterday's uh, Twins game was postponed until August 9th. It'll be part of a split doubleheader. Uh, the Twins tonight will battle the Dodgers at 640. Bailey Ober will go for your Twins, and James Paxton, Bill's son, will go for the Dodgers. That Thanks, is buddy, Twins boy. News, powered by Quantum Fiber. It's time for Vikings News on the Power Trip, presented by... Rexo. Rexo. Let's go, let's go, Rexo. Rexo. Thank you. Go ahead. You have a tweet? Yeah, uh, this is from Charles on Twitter. He asks, Is he in charge? Yes, he is. He even pointed that out. He asked, what is the Vikings' next priority after quarterback in the draft and why? Nobody asked you, Kevin! Uh, it's defensive <laughs> tackle and it's not close. Yeah, not even close. It's I think DT tackle. or yeah. guard, possibly. I mean, depending on who's sitting there. It's defensive Whoa. tackle. Yeah. 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 And it's, I mean, there are people that think if they get shut out of the quarterback market in the top four, that they will take defensive tackle at 12 and then either trade 11, back up, 11, yeah. 11, excuse me, and yeah. then trade back up and get their quarterback somewhere in there, that they would take a defensive tackle yep. over the fifth or sixth quarterback. I could see I could see a scenario playing out that McCarthy, be all this hype around McCarthy, if that's who they've singled out and, and um, they have him over Drake May, I could see them saying if McCarthy gets picked, they can't move up, they go defensive tackle at 11, and do exactly what you're talking about, mm-hmm. whether they get whether they get 
you know, Penix or, you know, if, if May gets taken or whatever. I think, I think, you know, going back to the scenario we talked about earlier with if the Patriots have three quarterbacks, they're all basically graded around the same level. And you can be like, oh, we'll, we'll make either one of the three work. If you're not married to one of them, well, then you just take the best defensive tackle at 11 and not have to leverage your, your future or any, or any sort of picks and still get a, a good guy at either 23 yeah. or moving up. Hear me out. I was texting back and forth with Charge. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, why? With DPs you again? Lose a 11 <laughs> and 23. Mm-hmm. You go quarterback, quarterback. You get Penix, you why? get Knicks, and let them battle it out. Dear God. With- what? What? You guys did not seriously talk about that, did you? I'm going to guess that was a one side. <laughs> I mean, there's. Did he respond to you? <laughs> oh, he absolutely. He, he was like, this? I love it. Well, Char- <laughs> but Char- I, to Charge's credit, he has always said, yes. you take a quarterback until you find the right one. Right. He would take a quarterback in every draft, and that's not bad. That, I mean, you. Good luck getting out of the draft party if that's the right. case. No, I don't believe that that, that would be. That idea there. is just God, the worst. I love that when it's not directed at me. <laughs> that's just terrible, Moss. No, I didn't. Uh, Sauce, you're right. I think they would fire Quasi before he leaves the yes. party if that was the selection. I mean, if it, it went it, Bo Nix, Penix at 11 and 23, or, or the other way yeah. around. They would say, uh, "Give us your key card." Right. I mean, if you went, if and you your went, keys, you yeah, have to you're be out. drunk. You're out. You just I, did. I, just, you went, I don't know. If you why went, I won't even open your minds. No, up to you this. don't do that because a, it's that a waste of draft. It's waste of draft capital. But if you went, let's say you took Drake May at four, and you took Sam Hartman in the seventh round, that's the fine. quarterback from Notre yeah, Dame. That's, that's, that's fine. fine. Yep. You take back. That's like taking back to back guards and not taking Steph Curry. That got you fired. That would he would he they would why would they get must fired? He's a guy another yeah, Well not must, but that would it. Crazy would be fired. They would they would be pissed. You guys gotta stop doing drugs. <laughs> yeah. I love to drive. More. Or do more. But you guys is, gotta stop you guys stop, you know, stop trying to be the contrarian to contrarians. I mean if I mean, let's be honest. If they had Kirk Cousins on this team and let's just say because it's sports radio, they had eleven and twenty three, you could go back to back defensive tackles. They could do that. But taking how many, back how many back, draft picks do the Vikings have in the draft total? Well, they're they, like eight, they, uh, one, two, they seven, have eight. First, no, they don't they have, have a second they, or a third or a third. They have two fourths, <laughs> so that's uh, four. Keep going. I think they have a fifth, <laughs> six, and a okay, seven. So something like seven or eight. Yeah. What if we just draft eight quarterbacks? Let them battle yeah, it out. I think that's a great idea. Ta- okay, uh, well, text charts. So one, right. one of them has to work. Now right? there's yeah. genius here. Of some level that we just don't get, guys. Right? right. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're seeing it I mean, way ahead yeah, of the rest yeah, of us. Let's, let's do something that no team ever in the history yeah. of the NFL has ever done, right. taking two first-round quarterbacks. Why can't Wait, we be well, the first? Yeah, right. I mean, right. it worked out for Washington. I mean, even though they didn't take two first-rounders, but, but, but they got Cousins and ended up being a better deal RG3. than RG3. <sighs> He's on to something here, yeah. guys. I, just I, tell you what, room, I, I do bitch, tell you what, sure. though. If... If we end up getting Sam Hartman, every woman and Zach yeah. and, would be and, season take a horse. And Tommy. And me. I'm open to things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's a good He's looking a dude. Bastard. That's a good looking I, dude right there. I just can't believe you guys think uh, Church is just out of his mind. Well, I'll tell you what, um, Musman. If they do that, <laughs> I will personally hand you $100. And a tongue kiss. <laughs> You've already I done that. I, w- I want to go. I want you to go on record because I'm a little confused. Who came up with the idea? You or or Charge? That sounds like a must idea. Yeah, it's a must idea. Because right Too now it sounds like you're trying years. to throw you're trying to throw Charge under the bus here. What? There was a pivot there. No. Wasn't there? Yeah, there, there was, was a pivot. pivot. Did yeah. you feel the pivot? I yeah. felt it. I felt yeah. it as well. Yeah. That's. I don't want either one of them, let alone the two of them together. No. That would be like Ben and I going to watch the Curb finale before a Stapleton show. <laughs> Well played. Why are we here? Yeah. I feel like I feel we like if Charge is listening to this, that. he is yeah. so upset with you right now because yeah. you're insinuating that no. he came up yeah. with that. He's like, I don't even remember being on the. Who was this? He throws out a lot of opinions. <laughs> oh, so he did throw I, out that opinion. I didn't even know who was I texting do. me. I can't, I can't really remember. I didn't have to remember my phone. I'm not really sure. <laughs> this is one of those. Please don't a, speak for me. His reputation is on the line Could right now. Butt dial. All right, 8 o'clock hour of the Power Gym Morning Show. Muss is here until Charge cancels him. Ben Liebers is here. Ben Liebers for like, what, another 40 minutes or so before he's going to dip out. We're back after this on the van. Smith and Herb. Or Smith and Herb. If I may. Local music on the fan. The fan. 
five detailed files. The Power Hour is alive right now. Head over to kfan.com slash watch to catch all of the action powered by Quantum Fiber. What up, Nick Madden? Man, that must have been a quick turnaround for Nick because Zach was here this morning and he was supposed to be doing this gig and then he decided to fly to Indianapolis to see the eclipse. So he must have called Nick in out of nowhere to be running the stream right now. What a guy. Nick Madden. And Nicholas will be with us in Las Vegas, Nevada Is later this that week. right? Hey. Uh, this would be uh, Jacuzzi Puma with Dog On. Yes, I said Puma. I love saying Puma. Me too, I like it. Puma. Sauce, I'm still waiting for you to tell me what to do What to do if that scenario happens. Yeah, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> okay, please. Thank you. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, yes, Ian please. Rappaport just tweeted that uh, def- uh, Texas d- defensive tackle Byron Murphy II is one of the top 30 visits for the Vikings. Too. Yeah! Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Yep, because just like we were saying, that is the second most important position. You that did we say have. that. We did. I heard you a moment Sauce ago. and I said that. Um, well, according to you in charge, yes, would you yeah. like our top 30 to all be quarterbacks, all 30 of them? I, you know what? Until we find one. Yeah. You know what? He's got kind of... Uh, now I'm starting to hear your way of thinking. Now hear him out for a second, if you would, please. What he's saying is if we take seven quarterbacks, yes. one of them might be worth a damn. One has mm, to be. Right. Think about it. I mean, how do you split all the reps? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, per snap? Um, <laughs> good question. Okay, I good see what he question. did there. I see what he did there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Box. He had yeah. an answer yeah. for your question, did he? Box me up. Don't say <laughs> stuff, Ben. <laughs> Wait, who started? Why are you going to be like that? Yeah, Somebody did snort. Max, that snorted. That was me. Um... Uh, Happy Gilmore odds. Are you ready? Yeah. This is Happy Gilmore 2 odds. Um, According to, I don't know, Josh Barton? I don't know who he works for. One of those sites. I get these all the time, you know what I'm saying? The guy sends me the odds for things? Yeah, Yeah, man. Uh, Sports betting something or other. Uh, Which PGA Tour player will make an appearance in Happy Gilmore 2? If you had to pick one, who do you think it'll be? Um, Isn't there one that's known for having like a really bad temper? Meat sauce. Hmm. Yeah, but who's also the most charismatic? Right. Yeah. That's well, it's got to be someone that's self aware, too, to make yeah. fun of themselves. Ricky Fowler, maybe? Is any, uh, honest, are any of them famous enough to be in Happy Gilmore, too? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Ricky Fowler, yeah. by the way, plus 350. He comes in at number three. Do you think Rory would make it? Well, I mean, anybody yeah. can make it. Lee Trevino was the one yeah. in the first one, right? I mean, you yeah. can. You can Throw a dart at the PGA Tour and pick somebody. Rory's that's true. plus 300. He's number two. Okay. Uh, the overall favorite. Plus two hundred, Tiger Woods. Oh yeah, yeah. Tiger, oh, will, be right, Tiger yeah. will be in. He's got yeah, there. Right, I'm yeah. sure they live yeah. in the same neighborhood. Yeah, and then yeah. Justin Thomas and uh, Jordan Spieth ran out of the top five. Um, let's see what what other ones. Hey, is there? um is Happy Gilmore's mom, a grandma still alive? Is she was still with Wood us? Hawk? Oh, I don't know well, for actress? sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't she think she like honest actually. question is she she looked I real, know, real almost, old I mean, when she was in that almost I, thirty years ago. Her fingers hurt. Yeah, that's true. You know what? Calm down, lady. You know I saying? think there was wow. a recent story, though, that, that, that she yeah, passed. Right. She did pass. I Diddling. think there was a recent yeah, 2011, story. 2011, it looks like. Yeah. Is it because she pulled landscaping duty? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> now her back's going to hurt. Right? Yeah. Diddling. So she's currently well, in she Happy's in Happy birthday. Place. Yeah. That's sad. Waiting for Julie Bowen to be in uh, lingerie holding two uh, yes, jugs of beer. Yes, please. Yes. Yeah, so so that whole Chubbs and Grandma are together. Yeah. yeah. Chubbs, Grandma, and the alligator all together. Yeah, right. I love Julie Bowen. Yeah, me too. What a small yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. I hear where you're going. And I like yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. And I understand you. What they, I, I heard that what? they want Drew Carey to be a uh, part of it. Why? Some because kind of, of a cameo. Price yeah. is right thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Bob. Right. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Yeah. Uh, will Happy and Shooter McGavin have, uh, have a rematch? Oh, of course. They have to, right? They have to. Yeah. 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 That yeah. has to be yeah. the entire plot. It's got to yeah. be yeah, It's yeah. got to be all shooter again. Will Kevin Nealon be Happy's mental coach? Ooh. God, that'd be great. Mm. Kevin Nealon's a genius. Love Kevin Nealon. Same. Yep. Uh, Feeling the energy. Will, He's so good. Will Happy fight Drew Carey? Well, if you're going to have him in there, you have to fight him. I mean, that's the, gotta, right. That has well, to yeah. yeah, but you got to change something. You can't just do Happy Gilmore 2 and just revisit the same storyline, It's going right? right to Netflix. Right. Then it would just be a giant middle finger to everybody who didn't like Happy Gilmore in 1996. <laughs> oh, ben, go. you're mad at Chris Stapleton, not me. <laughs> I'm not mad at all. I'm not mad at all. 
I love Happy Gilmore. I just don't same. think that you can wait this this many years and then just do the same storyline with, with the same, same yeah, people. And I don't think he will. He's got. He it, should. It's got. I, I think you know what? Honestly, I if I were him, and he's a millionaire and doesn't care, but I'm the kind of guy who would be very very worried about just blowing it because you created a perfect movie, man. What, what if, what if again, it's like Rocky remember, this, is, this is Netflix that it's coming out on. It's not Do we know that? It's still Happy Gilmore. I, I, guess, I know. No, that, but, it, has, that'll that, be in the theater. Has that been you confirmed? You think that'll be theater? Yeah. Because I haven't seen it. Uh, you uh, might be right, Musk. I haven't seen anybody say that this is a part of his Netflix deal. I'm it's pretty definitely, certain. Yeah, it has to be. It, no. It's possible, it but does, I, I don't know why you would waste not. this on Netflix. Head, yeah. Headlines because say then, it does say it, it's for Netflix. Okay, yeah, because I, I, I wish a, that wasn't then the case. Would, if he was doing like a theater release, no way. And then you can't, then you'd have to change everything up. There'd, there'd be no odes to Bob Barker or, or Chubbs or whatever. Hmm. I, I No, I, it'd have to well, be a totally different storyline. They're doing an ode to Meet Us? Anchorman 2 oh, ran mean, back the oh, same bit, that, that, right? right? Yes. <laughs> A lot of those ones that waited a long time, Anchorman 2, Zoolander 2, Dumb and Dumber 2, they were all terrible. So yes. it's not, I mean, the, the bar, when you wait 20, they're almost 30 years in this case, the bar is going to be super low. Dumb and Dumber 2 is the a top five worst film of all time. Hockey hated it. Yeah, I watched That's it again. I loved it, it the Was that the time. Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's Dumb and so Dumber. Bad. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so yeah. bad. There was only one funny scene. That's when they, they went to her house twice. That, was, that made me laugh. That was funny, man. Nobody? Okay, everybody. I, actually, I, I, never, I, never, saw I never saw it. I never saw it. No. Yeah. No. No. Mark and I left. Yeah, we, we left. But we had we had Diddlin to do. Remember? Yes, we had Diddlin. <laughs> Remember we were going to go Did Diddlin? you see Kong versus Godzilla? Oh, man, I can't wait. Not yet. It's no. It's so good. I can't wait. Did see? you see it, Max? Yes. It's, it's, it's oh, hell the yeah. perfect movie. Come on. It's 10 out no of 10. Come yes, on. it is. So they give you everything that you want. It's today at, do you want to go, Hawk? Can yes. you go today? You sure, I'll go with you. You, you guys on? are going to freaking love it. I watched the trailer and I was like, this is not something I'm ever going to go and watch. All right, well, I wouldn't pay money to go to it. Well, then, of course, Hawk, do you want to go Max probably didn't today? pay money I to do. go see it. <laughs> That's not true. I like to support art when it's in the it's theater. It's that good? It's that good. It's basically just a giant... Middle finger. That too. Right right in the stink. Oh, my. <laughs> And my yeah, Lord, I've been there. Oxen. I've been there. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes Zach's you got to get It's not a, it's not a ditty party. All right, Zach just, <laughs> easy, yeah. easy. Zach just Kong asked gave for the, the flight to turn around. Kong gave somebody the shocker. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Well, that's the deleted scene. Yeah. You got to stay after the credits for it's, that it's one. It's hard to beat Godzilla, man. You know, you got <laughs> to surprise try him. Something new. You got to surprise him. <laughs> It's basically just a giant wrestling match. It's it's WrestleMania with monsters, basically well, I, for two how hours. Could you want anything more? Exactly. Will Hawk cry? Yeah, just I, from how freaking awesome. It I is. always cry at the end of the movie because I'm so spent. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, let's go see it today. All right, don't tell me <gasps> what to do, but I'd like to. Uh, I can't um, believe you haven't seen it yet. I'm sorry, I've been busy, brother. Thanks, Hulkster. You're welcome, <laughs> brother. Yeah. Sp- speaking of emotional, did you watch the end of Masters of the Air? Not yet. <gasps> Oh my God! I can only imagine, man. Oh. I can only imagine. Oh. oh, I can't wait! I cannot wait. Between that and Shogun, oh man, I'm still catching it's up. It's so, so it's Shogun's so, so good, man. It's so good. Oh, I'm so glad to that, hear you say that. That last, man. the last episode. Oh man, yeah. Oh, it, it'll 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 get you. Oh, good. Get a, <laughs> use, <laughs> I know that you. I know that you always have a box of tissues close, but use it for your tears this time. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> well, so, sometimes you can take oh. two birds, one stone. Oh. Yeah, okay, I got to flip that thing happening? over. <laughs> I got a show for you, by the way, buddy. Oh, what you the do? hell? Yeah, you're gonna love this show. What did you? What? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. There's just been one pilot uh, filmed. <laughs> But uh, my wife and her friend, they want to come up with tube top cooking. What yeah. Is, what are you talking In. about? Tube I, I, I top got a guy who can film cooking. it. <laughs> yeah. Is that a real just, thing? Just think about the mixing. Yeah, yeah. The shaking. Yeah, yeah. What are, I can be the Gordon Ramsay for this. <laughs> this is, is not it? your idea. This no. is your wife's I mean, yeah, idea. Tops, yeah, my monster of a wife and her friend, they decided that this is something they, they want to follow Go up right by. to OnlyFans and they'll be <laughs> cashing those. Yeah. They got to bring back it. tube tops. Yeah. They, I, you have to... They've been gone for too long. Oh my gosh! Old school tube tops, tube tops, and bell bottoms. Let's yes. roll. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes. What sir. is happening? What? We're doing radio, brother. You okay? Yeah, but <laughs> you're not even paying attention. You yes, I am. Yeah. Haven't even too started long. yet, and you're freaking yeah, you're out. Right? You're fine. <laughs> What's wrong? Happening? No, Are you okay? no, it's not happening right now. No. How hey, can you tell it's happening? It's cloudy. We're going to uh, going to Vegas in a couple of days. Oh yeah, a couple of us are anyway, <laughs> and. uh 
this is what happened to a guy who went to Vegas the other day and found out something disgusting happened. Now, I don't have the the, the info on how he knows they did this, but he's he's 100% sure the, the people who cleaned his room used his toothbrush to clean his room. So whatever you do, if you stay in that Mandalay Bay, from now on, any hotel, I will no longer be leaving my toothbrush out. And they use my toothbrush to clean. And they're being nasty to me about it. And they want to offer me a $50 credit and, what did they say, a new toothbrush. They use my toothbrush to clean. And they want to give me a $50 credit and a new toothbrush. Yeah, oh! I know. It's like bad bosses. Yeah, did he have a, a Like a he maybe had device? a new toothbrush or something like that. It hadn't been used yet, and he came back in the room, and it was all yeah, All poopy. nasty. Yeah, he gave it the sniff test. Interesting. Like, oh, yeah, I guess uh, I'm, oh, I'm very right. curious how he's convinced they uh, they used it. I'm a, you know what? I'm going to look for the rest of the story because I need to know now. And I got to be honest, I don't, I don't care where you're staying. I don't care if you're staying at the Four Seasons or, or you're, you're staying at the old, uh, the old Motel 6 or whatever it is. I never thought they actually got that detailed when they cleaned. No. I never, never yeah. what would they imagine cleaning? they would use a, clean, a, a toothbrush f- on anything. What were they cleaning, though? That's the real. I don't care if it's there. I don't care if it's grout or the toilet or the shower. Or the I just their ass. I never thought they'd the actually do that that sort of a deep Guardians cleaning for galaxy. every room. <laughs> oh, the tree guy. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> they were cleaning grout? I am grout. <laughs> they were brushing oh. Groot's teeth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do you guys put your toiletries away when you leave the hotel for the day? No. Or do you leave your toothbrush Oh, no, out? I put it all back in my little case, my ditty bag. In yeah. your dab kit? Yeah. Yeah, what do you call it? It's a dab kit, I believe. A, a dop is, kit? Is, is that really what they call it? I thought it was a dop kit. I'm not really sure. I think it's a dog. I call it a target bag. (laughs) (laughs) The guy guy says, uh, people asked him and he commented back, not hard for me to see. Plus, I used it the day before. As soon as it hit my tooth, I knew something was wrong. Oh, Oh, God. He got that deep into it. Icky. Icky. I I, I would still have more questions. Yeah, me too. But I'm also confused why Mandalay Bay would kind of admit wrongdoing by saying we'll give you a new toothbrush and a I, think just want to, I, I think they just want to quiet down right uh, but if if there's zero proof that <laughs> they did this hush I, I don't even know why they're doing <laughs> that right because according to this little story it says no official comment from mandalay bay or the parent company mgm resorts international but again that guy's claiming they offered him a 50 dollars credit uh who knows crazy <laughs> yeah this is why i don't go to vegas <laughs> that's why you don't go to vegas yep well well, we'll really miss you. <laughs> yeah, I Sounds am. like it. I'm going to miss you. Oh, yeah. thanks, Hawk. You're welcome. Who's going to have some street liquor? My brother. You know what? That cost me 50 mm-hmm. bucks on this guy's Yeah. 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 The yeah. toothbrush was the least. They kind of upped the price on you, didn't they? Yeah, they did, it didn't used to be 50 well, bucks. It's yeah. high quality, though. Yeah. 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 It was My in the dad shape wanted of a cash. Football. You get what you pay for. It's the glass, shape of a football. What the are you glass, talking about? Yeah, the glass was in the shape of a football. No, he's he's thinking about actually. Oh, I'm thinking about something you, else. What is happening? They're little. No, footballs. when Hawk and I were having street liquor. Yeah, we did get those, didn't we? I forgot about that. I was yeah. real wasted. Oh, okay. You're, yeah. you're really outside. talking about the street liquor. I was standing outside waiting um, uh, uh, for Sarah Jane and my other friends to get on the bus, and they were on the on the bus. And uh, I stood there for about five minutes in front of the bus. I was wasted. You got me smashed. <laughs> so, you got me. Yeah, between you and. Uh, Parish, yeah, again, yeah. yeah, I got lost. Yeah, you did get lost in a two-block area for yeah. about an hour. Yeah, hmm. walking the People Bridge back and forth, going, I can see Planet Hollywood, I just can't get there. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. I Fun. need to yeah. check out. Why, why wouldn't you love to do that? Go there again. Oh, awesome we go time. commercial free the rest of the way. We'll do headlines in a second. More with Ben Lieber and Must after this. This is the Power Good Morning Show on the Fan. Final segment. Ben's still here, but just for a bit. Just for a bit. Just a bit. What do you got uh, going on on the TV this week? Anything big? Do you, do you even like have any any major things happening? Um, I don't think so. I didn't. Um, you know, we'll probably do a lot of Eclipse talk today. I yeah. mean, it'll be a, kind of a standard week. Mar- Marnie's filling in on Thursday. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. For you or for hey. Elizabeth? For Elizabeth. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So that'll be fun. She's always great. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We're going to have a great a great lineup of shows. So, yes, please tune in. And check this out, guys, real quick. On uh, February 26th of 1979, 
This news lady in Dallas did the following report. You missed today's eclipse. You'll have another chance in the year 2024. That's the year that Texas will see a total solar eclipse. This is Pat Couch, the Texas News. Thank you, Pat Couch. Pat Couch. 2024 seemed like a year that would never happen in 1979. You know what I mean? Oh, for yeah. sure. Like, they thought there'd be flying cars by now. Oh, for sure. Stuff, yeah. Right. I do love just the fact that science is that exact. Well, I was just going to say that. You I know, actually, it blows my mind, and it shouldn't blow my mind, but right. they knew back then mm-hmm. that the path of totality was going to go right through Texas. Yep. So cool. Yep. Path of totality would be a sweet band name, by the way. Yeah, it, it is a sweet yeah, band Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. A little heavy metal. Yeah. Sweet. Bring it. Okay. Are you ready, Corey? Sure. Ba-da-ba-da. Headlines brought to you by uh, our friends at uh, Wolf River Electric. You can go solar with Wolf River Electric. Do oh, it. Good. Yeah, thanks. I wonder what the uh, solar eclipse does to uh, solar stuff. Probably well, doesn't, uh, probably doesn't gain a lot of got a, a lot of energy for yeah. four and a half Just minutes. Just for one second. By the way, though. Oh, good. Uh, Musk says you can kind of hear church. You're a little, a little bit. bit. A little bit. Good. You never know who's going to be so on weird. the church I mean, bandwagon. I know that it is. Uh, in fact, PA. Got it. Oh, Mostly good. because Nordo mentioned that. Mm-hmm. That it was his guy, but I can kind of hear that a little bit. Okay. Interesting. They spent a lot of time yeah. together. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Sometimes you just start sounding like people. Hmm. Yeah. You're on Charch's side now. I am. Yeah, you threw him completely yeah. under the bus. No, I did not. Yeah, you, yes, you, you tried, did. But now, you, mm-hmm. now yeah. you're going backwards on, going, on, the, on the bus throwing. 11.23, two QBs. Here we go. Okay. Uh, since uh, Zacho is currently on a flight to Indianapolis to see the total eclipse, why not uh, just discuss this? Again, we just mentioned the next one is going to be, uh, what, 2044-ish, right? Is that uh, what we heard That's earlier? Right. That's yeah. right. Thank you, Mrs. Couch. For most of the country. However, it says Alaska is going to get one in 2033. Really? So if you want to see one, go to Alaska in nine years. I've never been. Hmm. Has oh, anyone here been? Have, have you been, Hawk? Not yet. Ben? Nope, never Back been. So? Really? No, i never been. Mm-hmm. I really want to. I'd love though. to go. Yeah, yeah let's go there. Let's do it. Let's, let's do a show from there. Let's go now. Do some fly fishing. Make sure oh, you have yeah, a handgun no. with you because yeah. of the bears. No, Dude, yeah. no I don't oh, think Zach's going to go. If I want to catch a fly, I'll stay here. Are they... no, uh, no. I know that's just the headlines, but do they know when it comes back here around the states, not just Alaska, where the path of totality is going to be? Uh, according to this headline, it just says Alaska gets one in 2033. Also, Montana and North Dakota in 2044. Now we're talking. Oh, so yeah, much closer yeah. to us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, head to the Dakotas. Hmm. Yeah, that's You've a good idea. Anyway, film. whoa. The path of totality is crossing over a few cities and towns with perfect names like Shadowland, Texas, Moon, Oklahoma, a Sun Valley, Ohio, Moon Beach, New York, and Eclipse Island, Canada. Wow. It was named after that, uh, after explorers saw an eclipse there in 1766. Man, again. Oh. I wonder if uh, um, in 1766, if you knew the right people, you knew that there was an eclipse coming. Probably so, right? Good or question. thought it was the end of days. Yeah, right, right, yeah right. I'm guessing yeah, yeah. you thought it was the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, right. It was I wonder, over. I wonder if 1766, so, like, I don't know. Everybody just starts making out for four minutes because this is it. <laughs> yeah, it just starts oh, murdering, <laughs> committing crimes, and then it's yeah. like, oh, that was that was oh, only wait. a couple of minutes. Sorry, that got weird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Tommy's going to use that excuse today. <laughs> like, stop <laughs> kissing me, you sicko. <laughs> Get away from me. Now start again. <laughs> uh, one in seven Americans claim they have zero interest in seeing the eclipse. Z- uh, zero interest. None. I would say I have 10% interest. Yeah. But not enough I, to fly uh, in. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm Cy Amundsen, who said he's you know a, a short Ten drive away, away yeah. Yeah. then I have a 100% interest. But, yes. he, I mean, if it's in Minneapolis, I'm not napping through it. I would go see it. But he only has I can't interest imagine. because his family does. Well, well, maybe. But Cy's a smart guy. His saying. dad's I'll, a science I'll, guy. I'll it's just, uh, uh, Bill, no. I'm not yeah, willing to go out of my way to see no, it. Me no. If I was close... Sure. I would uh, be spending the day doing it. But uh, getting on a plane like Zacco, uh, I'd rather save my miles for a I, Vegas trip. I was just hanging out this afternoon, and all of a sudden Ben Lieber comes nudging up against me and says, hey, let's start doing some smooching. Well, then yeah. I might look. You have some yeah. weird... Why yeah. are you yeah. reading yeah. Tommy's text? That, that could happen <laughs> without an eclipse. Yeah, Tommy didn't want that on the I air, mean, <laughs> Well, your, uh, your ideas are weird. Yeah, you're... Uh, what? You're some very odd ideas. Um, is that possible that that might happen? Ben just said it's, it's possible. Okay, good. It's possible. Mind, right. Okay. Basically, Basically, don't so all you got to do is ask. I mean to discount it. My apologies. Look, I know it's April 8th, so uh, April Fool's was a week ago. 
And this is an eclipse. I don't think I'm getting trolled, but I'm just going to read this headline, and you guys can just absorb it however you'd like, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody ready? I'm I don't sorry. know. I, I believe that I am. Coming soon, Amy Adams stars in Night Bitch about a mom who thinks she turns into a dog at night. It's actually a really good book. I swear to God, I've read it. Really? Yeah. You Is it because of the, the title? Book? Yes, I, I, the book. Yes, the the cover and the name Night Bitch. I was like, I didn't even read the synopsis. I was like, cool, I'm in. I checked it out, and it's actually a really good book. I thought that was just never mind. Never mind. Oh. I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. Say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> It's a, and here with the rest of that joke is the fans, Chris Hockey. I can't. I can't think of anybody saying that's not going to be mad at me for saying it. Say it, Sauce. Can I use you? And you promise you won't get mad? Oh uh, yeah. Promise? Uh, yeah. I thought that's just how Sauce said goodnight to his wife. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Isn't that a secret song? What? <laughs> what is wrong bitch. with you today? <laughs> what? On the night, night, bitch. Oh, great. Um, night, Paul. Night, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, it's uh, it already in post-production. That's a really good book. No kidding. I'm telling you. What's, so she's... But, yeah, does she end up playing really? basketball on a high school team? Yeah. Or what, what's <laughs> what? Deal? Does she surf on top of a van? No, nothing that exciting, honestly. It's like more metaphorical. Um, Ooh, are you still playing MLB The Show? I'm going to bed. Oh. Night, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, for uh, some real laughs, you should watch. There's a guy on Instagram that does a bit about how he's talking to his son whose team just lost to Air Bud's team. It's a great bit. Nobody cares! I'm just, come on, roll over, buddy. Yeah, see, there he is. Uh, Chris. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, what do I do? My condolences. Oh, no. Quantum Leap has been canceled after two seasons on NBC. You know, it, it has gone downhill since the first season, which was award-winning. Uh, the second season's not been great, and... Uh, oh, no. You know, I just... Uh, when you stop... Saying "oh boy" when you see it, you know yeah. you know that it's gone downhill. And uh, I love the first Quantum Leap, though. Just so oh, good. the original, the original, was great. Was so yeah. the original, oh, is great. Yeah. so good. It's got Night back, bitch to the second one. Uh, just asked this a week or two ago, but now here, uh, here's the answer finally. Pat Sajak's last episode of Wheel of Fortune is going to be Friday, June seventh. Did you read that story about that dude? No. Uh, he's got when he uh, his sign off to Van is going to be night, bitch. Oh. <laughs> she has to turn it over. Yeah. The final yeah, clue. That's, that's the first that's the puzzle. puzzle. <laughs> 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 that was real funny. Thanks. Uh, Quit acting surprised. Could be an so awkward how does, final so hold on. So how does that work though? Like he's they're done filming. They've yeah, been probably, done filming, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. so he did it. He knew he was going to do the last one, mm-hmm. right? And so he just does the last one. Does the sign off basically in November when they shot it, and then yeah. it airs in June. Yeah, it's kind of odd. A little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm surprised they don't like go in and do a special episode. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Like a live episode. A live one to end it. Yeah, maybe. Huh. Uh, Disney's going to release Toy Story Five on June nineteenth, twenty twenty six. Yeah, that's a ways away. Sign me up. Those are the best. I never yeah. saw oh, the fourth man. one. Oh, the fourth ones. They're great. They're all great. It was the, the third one. Was the one that was the like, second one is the cry. The yeah. third one, yeah. Oh, I, I thought cry. they were actually going to die when that when he yes. drives away oh. and leaves Woody there. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I I had yeah. tears coming out of every hole I have. <laughs> yeah. oh my god, you should get that looked at. I really I did. I went to the doctor. Yeah. Ph tears. Every orifice was leaking. <laughs> everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. It was sure all those, tears. Was it all tears? I you sure about that? No. <laughs> I didn't see the uh, the first Toy Story when it came out when it was 1996 or whatever. So I saw it as an adult when I was 29 or so. So the, the scene that gets everybody to cry didn't quite hit me between the eyes when no. when Andy really what? Wait. when Andy the first time that like you know he's like nuss like kind of like nestling uh, like Andy or, or sorry Woody under his arm like in bed. And he just whispers like "night bitch" right at the end. Right. I, it just didn't hit me. I yeah. don't think like, you saw I, the right film. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure he says that. Did he not? 
I don't know what. Maybe it was Buzz. I think, it was, I think it was Buzz. And, uh, <laughs> uh, Godzilla versus Kong did hold on to the top spot at oh, the box yeah. office. It sounds like uh, Maxo was part of that money, or did you bootleg it? No, I did not bootleg it. Like I said, I like to go see real art in person. You don't, you don't bootleg the Mona Lisa core. <laughs> yeah, okay? well said. Hmm. Uh, speaking of bootlegging, um, how about one point eight two five million for the first ever Batman comic book? One point eight two five. It sold at auction. Oof. Batman's first comic. It seems like comic. that happens every few years. It does. I, I yeah, it does. Like, yeah, that's pretty neat, man. Man, yeah. Yeah. do you know how much it originally was? Probably five cents. Ten. Ten. Ten, ten. Good ten cents. Yeah. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher are getting divorced. They said in a joint statement that they actually filed last year, but I think everybody that saw the news on Twitter just did like my wife. They did my <laughs> wife jokes yeah. all. <laughs> weekend uh, yeah. <laughs> long that's pretty good though hollywood 20 we said 20 years um i don't know how long they lived. i think it was 12 oh 12, 12 years 14 that's Something still like 14. Either way, yeah. i think yeah that's, that's a good run oh, yeah, that's a good God. run hey, pretty uh, good um hey ben yeah i uh, um because you're gonna maybe talk eclipse on your show today mm-hmm. here's a fact for you i think you're gonna love there's a canadian astronomer uh he was a renowned eclipse chaser his name was jw campbell he traveled the world for 50 years trying to see 12 different eclipses. Every time the skies were overcast when he got there. Oh. Every time. What a waste of an yeah, entire life. life. I know. Right. That's what's going to happen to Zacho today. Well, he's already one for one, right? Because he tried to go down to St. Louis to see it and, and it was cloudy. Yeah. Wow. What if he is JW2? Mm. Oh. And the only thing that you get after a full lifetime is just one little headline. Yep. That's it. <laughs> will we find out about what? all your failures? Yeah. <laughs> ben, will we find out what wine pairs best with the eclipse today? We might. Yeah. Okay, cool. We might. a shot at Twin Cities Live. Right. No, I am not at, at all. TCL. Why are you so mean? I love the show. Yes. I love everybody so there. Like it's fine. You're, you're, look, I, I, I ripped it. on Stapleton, your guy. You can you can rip yeah, a little bit if you want. A little saucy about that, yeah. Yeah, I know. I get it. A 56-year-old guy hiding in a trash can tried to kidnap a woman in New York, but thankfully the victim was able to break free and call police. Man, tough times for Oscar. I know. (laughs) (laughs) He's 51, man. (laughs) Where's his friends? He's just resorted to kidnapping people? Oh, poor buddy. (laughs) Oh, Oscar. He's hit rock bottom. (laughs) (laughs) What? It's a Sesame Street joke. A uh, lame attempt right. at humor. Yeah, oh, come on, yeah. that was great. Yeah, look, it was it was right yeah. there. It was teed yeah. up for him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean it was an easy joke, but if Zacho had said it, you would have been like, "Oh, that's so funny, Zacho." Yeah, I so miss clever. Zach. Whoa. I do miss him. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying just like, was that Corey talking? It did sound like me. God, Zach, you're so funny. <laughs> Meat sauce is stupid. Is that actual audio? Yeah. Go on. Yeah. A 51-year-old man in Ireland appeared in court completely nude, and he refused to wear clothes after his, quote, emotional support cat went missing during a traffic stop. He showed up to court completely naked. Jeez. Did he win his case? I don't know. Somebody get that man a cat. An emotional support cat. Yeah. There's two people were banging the gavel that day. (laughs) <laughs> sounds like we know why the cat disappeared. Well, it sounds like it ran mean, away. Who hasn't gone crazy after losing their? <laughs> <laughs> no, wow, no. Nope. Talk about it, brother. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> okay, tell it, baby. Come on. Come All right. On. A uh, a guy in Texas went to a restaurant on April first, on April Fool's Day, and oh. tipped a hundred dollars on a twenty seven dollar bill. Don't he say it. signed it. But then over the entire receipt, he wrote, April Fool's dummy, no tip for you. Are you kidding? Oh, that can't be. Water. Come, come on. on. Come on. Man. So if you, yeah, let's on. say he did, let's say he did that. Yeah. If you on the line, though, wrote $100 and then put the total at 127 then if you write no tip for you over the top of the receipt, that somehow avoids it? Yeah, because if you signed it, then that should still be the tip, right? Yeah. Hmm. Even if you put hmm. on there no tip. Hmm. I don't know. Gosh, yeah. Who doesn't give a tip? What a douche. Maybe it was Richard Tips from earlier. Yeah. Oh, probably was. <laughs> yeah. yeah He's tipped know. plenty in his day. Did Today is tips? trading yeah, cards. What a, what a specific day this is. Today is trading cards for grown-ups day. Hey, Ben. <laughs> hey. um. It's 840. 
I know. I got to go. What was the line I'm supposed to say? Call me what? Call me Earl? Oh, my name is Haynes. My name is Haynes. My name is Haynes. <laughs> yep. That's it. <laughs> Call me Earl. <laughs> that oh, what was the other one from last week? It was my name is Haynes. And what was the second one that we thought was really good too? Uh, and our memory it? sucks. Oh, leave it out. Well, that? you did really like the I basher did that bit to the point where I'm not welcome back in my hometown anymore. Oh. That's how much I did it this weekend. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, leave it out. Wow, that's <laughs> what is that? That's Basher from uh, Ocean's Eleven. On Ludes? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can see our our, uh, our buddies, uh, the Scalar brothers, got to do the first pitch. Yeah, how yeah, cool, man! Sweet. That was cool. How was that show, by the way? Man, those guys, fantastic. Yeah, they. <laughs> excuse me. They did, you know, forty-five or fifty minutes or whatever. I bet the first seven minutes were about how the Como Zoo sucks. Oh, my really. gosh, really? Yeah, they open with anti-Como Zoo talk. <laughs> you don't get that every nope. show. Yeah. I, I love that they took that much time to write local uh, material. Right. They basically said, like, when you go to the... They kept saying the Minneapolis Zoo, but everybody knew they meant yeah. Minnesota Zoo. But, like, when you go to the Minnesota Zoo, there's, like, a pen, uh, penguin sanctuary. When you go to the Como Zoo, it's like, hey, who wants to see the herpes squirrel? <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs> and then, and then the, my, my favorite joke of the bit, and I, I'm not going to do it justice because it's not two twins doing it at the same time, but they're like, do you know what Como means in Spanish? It's how, as in like, how is this a zoo? <laughs> they were oh, we, great, uh, so, so nice, good. man. Yeah. And they, I, I went up and said hi to them after the show. They're super appreciative of all the stuff that we did for them last week and helped promote the shows. And they said the, the two of them were walking down the... Uh, uh, the, whatever the streets in Minneapolis Friday afternoon before the show, and somebody basically rolled down their window and yelled at him about how they sucked at initials. Brilliant! And oh. Jason was like, "I got three. Are you nuts? How many did you get?" You know, some random guy heckling him from that's me. So fun. that's super cool. Yeah, he almost won, man. Yeah, it, he gave you a, he gave you a run there. That's fun. It was close. That was fun. Yeah, that was. Yeah, uh, they're great. That was competitive. They've those, always been great. And those guys are just super nice guys too. Mm-hmm. They get it. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Como Zoo. Is that all you got, by the way? Herpes squirrel. Yeah, sure. Go okay, ahead. Cool, cool. Uh, check this out. Uh, for those of you out there who have uh, uh, video games in your home, parents Michael and Jennifer uh, Furry, I'll say. Are, uh, oh. <laughs> the furries. <laughs> yeah, well, I got in trouble last week for ending the show on the bad note. Um, oh. I misspoke about somebody's name. Um, are speaking out and sharing a warning for other parents after they learned their eight-year-old son got a hold of their credit card while he was playing video games. And spent four thousand oh dollars on and, and Roblox. Uh, let me see. Fortnite, uh, um, after, Minecraft, probably. Uh, after months, uh, new skins. Uh, I don't they, need the show. They were finally able to get a full refund, but said their experience is a precautionary tale. Um, I think sometimes it's confusing about what's real money, what's not for the kids. Says the dad, according to a July twenty twenty three report. Uh, which represents the video game industry, more than 200 million Americans and about three out of every four children under 18 play video games regularly. An estimated $57 billion are spent on video games every year, according to the Customer Financial Protection Bureau. Um, Now the CFPB is warning in a new report that Americans may not have the same protections online and in the virtual world they do in the real world. We want to make sure it's not a haven for fraud and for scams and abuse, says the leader there. Um, Again, um, kids don't understand that they're buying things that actually really cost money in the video game because they think it's fake like the rest of the video game. $4,000. Wow. And the other, the other trick, is, and, uh, and obviously my, uh, my youngest is 10 now, so she kind of gets this, but when yeah. she was five and six and, and first started screwing around with stuff like Roblox, the, even though we explained to her the, the, the currency in the game costs money right if you're gonna if we're gonna buy you robux which is confusing already mm-hmm. it's not a one-to-one conversion it's right. not like twenty dollars gets you 20 robux it's like this weird whatever uh difference well they can't convert it so they're like oh it's only 500 robux like yeah that's a billion dollars yeah. in real money <laughs> yeah. like right, they have right. zero idea how the uh, the exchange works mm-hmm. so that part's a little bit dicey I, I th- a lot of video games though uh, especially if they're linked to credit cards they don't have just a random just click, 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 click. There's a lot of where the parents have to verify the sale. So oh, as, long, right? as long as your kids okay. don't know, you know, your your login or whatever, there's there's ways to stop them from just clicking 
buy, 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 buy. Yeah, There's six million. Because otherwise million. you're just targeting <laughs> after these kids. Right. Like, that's awful. <laughs> I think you're thinking of instinct. Yeah, instinct. Sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> By the way, I listened to a uh, podcast mm-hmm. about Milli Vanilli. Um, uh, the blame goats. It, blame it on yeah. the blame it on the fame is the name of the podcast. Oh yeah, uh, it's uh, um, six or seven episodes from the very beginning to the very end of uh, um, which one was it? Rob that passed away. Don't know which one's Aren't dead. They, Maybe they're both gone now. I think they're both. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, fascinating man, because the guy who created them was this German dude, and uh, like. He he created them, and then when they decided they wanted to sing, he completely ruined the whole thing himself. He never faced any repercussions. Only those two guys faced all the repercussions. Everybody knew it was fake that was a part of that whole thing, but only Rob and Fab caught hell for it. Fab's still ca- alive. He's 57. Okay. You feel Rob's bad dead. for him if you listen to this podcast. You know I mean? Sure. They got uh, used. They, they really did. And, and the guy who actually did the using never, ever was criticized. Frank Fab. Yeah. Frarian? Yeah, 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 something like that. Uh, German dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, pretty, anyway, there yeah. Um, really good podcast. Again, blame it on the fame. I'd encourage you to check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, God, they will. Guys uh, who are, are young, like you, Maxo. Hey. Before sure there was the that. internet, you actually got your news from the news. And if you wanted music news, you got it from MTV and Kurt Loader. 30 years ago today, you heard this. Hi, I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News special report on a very sad day. Kurt Cobain, the leader of one of rock's most gifted and promising bands, Nirvana, is dead. And this is the story as we know it so far. Cobain's body was found in a house in Seattle on Friday morning. He was dead of an apparently self-inflicted shotgun blast to the head. Police found what is said to be a suicide note at the scene, but have not yet divulged its contents. Cobain, who was 27, had reportedly been missing for about six days, according to his mother. I can remember, and I mean this, people say stuff like this. I can remember where I was standing when I heard the news. I was listening to, I believe it was WNOR was the radio station in, uh, uh, based in Norfolk, Virginia. I was working construction in uh, um, a small suburb of Norfolk, Virginia, and I was outside of a house. We were listening to WNOR. They broke into a song, and I heard the guy say that Kurt Cobain had been found. I was in Chad Lola's living room. No I also remember. Yeah. Oh. What a thing. We were man. both giant uh, Nirvana fans, as everybody seemingly was when you yeah. were. Man. I was, what, 13 or yeah, about to turn 14 at the time? Man, Mark, it was, you weren't uh, on the radio massive. at that point? I, I had been, uh, the radio station I was on in Virginia flipped four mats, and I got S canned. Oh. And so I was doing construction. So I had, to work, on it. I had yeah. to work like a real person, and uh, I decided right then I never want to work ever again in my life because this is hard and I'm not good at stuff. Uh, and so I've efforted to be in radio as long as I possibly could. And isn't there like a um, question of whether he actually did oh, commit he suicide? Not. I don't think so. I, no. I think that's kind of been, uh, man, yeah. I, I think that's been kind of poo-pooed. Okay. People yeah. have a hard time accepting when someone's so great and uh, someone yeah, that means something to them yeah. dies, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like yeah. even with the Tupac thing, that he's still alive, Elvis, people just have a hard time thinking that, Someone that they've always known to be larger than life is actually just a regular person and can die. Corey, uh, if we uh, weren't lucky enough to uh, to have these careers, these jobs, what do you think you would have done? Because I know I definitely probably would have uh, stayed in construction and people would have been living in houses here in the Twin Cities that weren't built very well. <laughs> <laughs> I was terrible at it. Just dumb, man. And that's a good question. Just fire yeah, that's a really good gun question. like a jackass. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 you know, we, I did sheetrock construction. Oh, really? And so basically, by the end of it, they were like, you know what you're good at? Cleaning up when we're done. And I <laughs> oh. swear to God, that's what yeah. I did. I, I drove the scrap truck. That was the only thing I was good at. I can't do anything with my hands. Well, I can do one thing with my yes, right hand. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I don't know. Again, I went to school to be a writer. And now, right. I, no offense to the writers out there that we're friends with. I, I just, I'm so glad that's the path I did not go down. Because I just, so many of them have to grind for so long to get where you want to go. It's a long, long grind. And yeah. that just, I don't think that would have fit me very well, so I'm glad that didn't work out. But I don't i don't know what I would have done because that was my plan A. Yeah. I right. fell into this. I, did, I didn't have a plan B at that point. I was too young to have a plan B. My plan A was to be a writer. Doesn't everybody fall into this job? 
Music into radio? radio? Yeah. yeah. You make so many mistakes in your life that this is the only well, place to go? Maybe. I, I, I don't I, know. I, in all honesty, I feel like I hit the lottery. I really did. Every, every lucky yeah, turn that I oh, like, sure. made. Same. I mean, right. Like, what about you, Muscle? What would you have done? Uh, well, I was going to school at Mankato State before I got kicked out a year and a half into it. Well, you, you earned it. I, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, I was going to be a teacher. I wanted to be a teacher and uh, be a, a high school hockey coach. That's was the, That was the goal. Hockey? No kidding. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, well, but didn't, I didn't. I didn't make the hockey team. Yeah. I hung out with Canadians and I learned how to party. So um, yeah, that was a big reason why I'm like, what am I going to do next? So yeah. I, was, I was steel toning it like yourself. I was grinding metal um, in Owatonna, and yeah. I was just taking factory jobs, and then finally just kind of landed into this yeah. stupidity. Yeah. So that was what 1993. And we're glad you did, Saucy. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I literally have no idea. I had no plan. I had no future. And I, I'm, tr I'm telling you the honest to God's truth. I don't know what I would be doing. I have no idea. I don't. That's right. So, <laughs> I don't like to think about it because I don't know what I would be doing. But you don't have to worry about it because it didn't happen. Yeah, I had. You made it. I had yeah, you did nothing. It. But what if gears shift here? Sure. Then, then you're like. Now what the hell am I going to do? I'm not oh, talented at anything. I'm like, I've, no, I'm like I think about I that every day. Radio hands. I, I think know. about that every day. I have no plan, uh, no idea. I hope Thanks. I never have to worry about that. I don't have a plan. I don't know what I would do. You don't need one. It. You're going to yeah. be fine. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't find this. Job Empty and your bank account. Go to Vegas with Dov. Have him read the felt. Put all of your money on either red or black and call it a day. Yeah. Not have you bad. seen uh, Leaving Las Vegas with Nicolas Cage? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do, yeah. I don't want to get too dark with it, but yeah. No. Hey, speaking of gambling, are we doing a ghost again? Yeah, it's yeah, we have Scheffler. To. Scheffler. Yeah, we absolutely have to. Really? Yeah. It's Scheffler. It has to be Scheffler. Why? Because it's not he's it's not fair. He didn't win last week. He last oh, so he week. took one week off? Yeah. <laughs> he's won how many times? Four? Three or four? Yeah, yeah. he's not gonna win every one. No, Scheffler should be the all time ghost. Because it's as Corey pointed Until out, I think change. before you got here, he's minus what, two hundred to finish in the top ten? Top ten. It's minus basically 200. if you get him But that doesn't mean he's gonna win it. But now even more so, they're only there's it, it just he should be the all time ghost. May I uh, throw this in real quick because hmm. this just uh, uh jumped up on my computer and I want to get this in. The first trailer is being released for A twenty four's Maxine I, with three X's. Yeah. Have you seen it? I just it was. Yeah. Uh, it's so odd that you brought that well, up. Hold on, let me finish yeah. this real quick. The film is and is the final film of T West's X horror trilogy, and once again stars Mia Goth. It follows adult film star Maxine Minx as she aspires to be an actress and finally gets her big break. However, as a killer starts to hunt down the women of Hollywood, details about Maxine's past are revealed. The rest of the cast are Kevin Bacon, Halsey, Giancarlo Esposito, and Elizabeth Debicki. July fifth, Maxine with three X's. How have I never heard of this? What were you going to say, Saucy? Yeah, the trailer, it was literally like one of those ads that you get from, or uh, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Trailer. Yeah, that was just on my Twitter feed, and it was just running as we were talking about other jobs. So I saw, I didn't hear the sound, but it looks terrifying. Those I'm movies out. are really good. Are they? I've yeah. never even heard of X is no. X is a fantastic movie, and then, then Pearl is like the sequel, but it's a prequel, and it's even better. Oh, I know her. I know that face. Yeah, she's terrifying. Has she been yeah, in every one of them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, got yep. it. Wow. I saw the three X's. I'm like, I'm watching that. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, have, yes, a, uh, have an awesome week in uh, in, in uh, Georgia for the Masters. That yeah, sounds dude, super fun, cool, man. man. Yeah, yeah, looking, you, dude. Looking That's forward awesome. To it. Yeah, it's bucket list. It's going to be awesome. Well, Bonus is not coming to Vegas either, is he? So I don't even know who you would have drank with anyway. And I'm going to get picked up pretty early in the program uh, password. Is that right? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. And then on Thursday? No, I send it over. The draft, I think, is next Thursday. Yeah, next oh, it's Thursday. next Thursday? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Oh. All right. All right, 9 to noon is next. We're back tomorrow, 5.30 to 9. This is the Power Two Morning Show on the Hey, have a great day, everybody. Everybody have a wonderful day. You too have a day.